Hey everyone, my name is Wellens. Welcome to Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect has been one of those series that a lot of people have requested for me to play on my channel before, but I haven't done so because I've played them before. It's actually one of the first games that I played when I first got into PC gaming. But even Mass Effect 3 is, what, like five years ago now? So even though I say I've played it before, I don't remember much about the Mass Effect world at all. Just the overarching plot points, like the really big overview ones, and some species names, alien species names. I might go back to the trilogy sometime, but that time is not today, because we will be looking at Andromeda today. So if you've been keeping up with the news about Andromeda's release, it comes out on March 21st officially. But if you have Origin access, like I do right now, you can play it a few days early. Some people have brought up some concerning issues. Questionable writing, which might be a little bit difficult to tell just based off the first few hours, because it might pick up later. But more worryingly, the animations look pretty subpar, to be honest. I always thought I would play this on day one, but those reviews have gotten me pretty worried, so... I decided to jump into the trial, which makes no sense, because I'm worried, but now I'm playing even before the game is coming out. <laughs> But yeah, today I'm mainly trying to determine for myself whether this is a game worth playing or not. If you've seen some of the other games I've played on the channel, I think you can tell that what matters to me the most is the world and the story. Animation is not a huge deal, unless if it's super immersion breaking. And I have seen some really immersion breaking clips of bad animation. But anyway, we're gonna look into this ourselves, so let's begin by customizing our character. I know people typically spend a whole bunch of time here making their character look good, look relatable, whatever you want, but I might do something that's... It might be a little bit shocking to you, but I'm actually not going to touch the appearance at all. <laughs> like sure, I'll customize the name and the history and stuff, but appearance-wise, I don't really... I've always been more interested in learning about a pre-existing character than creating my own, so... Yeah, this has never been something I wanted to uh, spend too much time on. Even while I played Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, I never customized a female Shepard. So yeah, that's how we roll. And I think it might be a good thing too, because this is the default appearance, right? So all the animations, theoretically, should be on point with this character. Will it work out in reality? We'll have to see for ourselves later then. Yeah, so gender, I'm okay with female, that's fine. Customize appearance, ignoring it. Choose training. Choose the special training Ryder received in the Milky Way before joining the Andromeda Initiative. This training determines what power you'll have at the start and what skills you'll gain ac early access to. Sure. Security. Uh, I focused on learning about weapons and tactics. Biotic. You were effectively a designated biotic during your Alliance military tenure, assisting your cohorts with your ability to control mass effect fields. Technician. As a technician in the system's Alliance military, you learn to operate drones and hack enemy systems. Cool. Leader. You are a team player and a natural leader in the Alliance military, working closely with your cohorts for their safety and the safety of others. Scrapper. When a fight broke out, you were always the first soldier in the thick of it, mostly according to Alliance military protocol, and occasionally not. Ooh, so a little bit of a hothead. Operative. In the Alliance military, you study covert operations and the tech used by special forces, knowledge you rarely found a use for until the Andromeda Initiative. By the way, I haven't seen any trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda, so I don't even know what the Andromeda Initiative is. I'm hoping it'll explain this to me later. Mmm... <laughs> Based off how I like to play, I don't know, biotic? No, 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 let me see that again. Security... I'm totally okay with security, actually. Yeah, I kind of want to go shooty-shooty instead of stealthy-stealthy here. Okay, let's go security then. That's the default one again. <laughs> Choose name. So the default name is Sarah Ryder. Uh, I guess I can be Wellens, Wellens Ryder. This is so immersion breaking. <laughs> I hope this never shows up again, but sure, why not? My twin? Okay, that's my twin. Cool, defaults. Customize my history. Choose the gender of the legendary Commander Shepard, the first human specter, and the hero of the Citadel. It's a female right now. But I can be a male? Sure, female Shepard, why not? 
Oh, uh, that's it then. Wow, I customized not a single thing. The only thing I did was the name. <laughs> well, I guess that's how we roll. Difficulty. Narrative. I am more interested in the story than combat, but I'm okay with normal. This is the baseline Mass Effect combat experience. Advanced gameplay skills required for hardcore. No, thank you. <laughs> Normal is fine. Okay, let's begin then. This should be good. I hope this game is good. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are all of us leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in Andromeda. Whoa, 634 years later. Since when? Arc Hyperion. 20,000 humans on board. Andromeda Galaxy. Destination, Habitat 7 and Helios Cluster. Taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? I've been asleep for 600 years. That's a painting. process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ah. Thank you. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. 
After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Is that Natalie Dormer? Oh my god. Tone choices help define Ryder's personality. This seems a little bit very confident. Ah, so this is professional and this is casual. Let's be a little casual. I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Mm. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Oh, so this is a question. I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection is still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a guinea pig. Let's be positive. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa. What happened to this being a golden world? Oh no! Watch this What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try the gravity. The gravity crowd is offline. Uh, careful of the syringe. I'm almost inside. Hold on. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. It feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. Oh no. It's Scott Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. My brother. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? I'm running a diagnostic now. Give it a second for the processor to sync. Did the seals break? No. Physical integrity looks good. Ryder, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Oh, right. no. So 
show parts of the body could be waking up. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. That doesn't sound good. Don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care of him. He'll make it. If you say so. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. This random guy is okay. Of all the pods, it had to be my brothers. What caused that shaking though? We ran into something. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. Great! The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. Uh oh. What's a pathfinder? The pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty oh. roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. Alec Ryder? Is that somebody related to me? It's not Scott. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Okay. Your current location is Arc Hyperion, housing the human population. Arc Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Arc Natanis, embarking in 2185. So they should all be around here, then. At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. Alright, thank you for the information. Okay, let me see if I have this straight. I'm Ryder. I was... I'm on this ship, the Ark Hyperion, and I've been traveling for 600 years in cryostasis or whatever you call that. And my mission is to, along with everyone else here, is to look for new habitable worlds for not only humans, but all the other species in the planet, planet in the galaxy as well. But now, as we've reached this Helios cluster, something has gone wrong. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. <laughs> there is where we need to go, but I'm curious about this part. <coughs> Greer. Nice and easy. Just take deep breaths. This one's still asleep. Really, of all the pods here, my brother's just had to be the one with the problem in it. This one's still asleep. How do you mean? I don't remember dreaming or anything. One minute I'm in the Milky Way getting ready to sleep, and the next... You're two million light years away. No joke, we really flew that far? We really did. Welcome to Andromeda. Sweet technology! It's like when you go to sleep regularly, except you wake up substantially later. <laughs> Engineering this is cryo bay. We've got a pod that was damaged when we lost gravity. Ooh. You probably want to send something over. Hyperion cryogenics. Yeah. Oh. Stuff tastes like paste. My ship is pretty spacious. Costa. Hey there! Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. 
Makes two of us. Hang in there. Are these my teammates? Carlisle. Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Wrinkles might start to show up if you sleep for too long. Message from Captain Dunn. Attention Hyperion personnel. After a 600 year voyage, the good news is that we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We have arrived in the Helios Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All Stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority and prep its members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow. Ooh, unusual celestial phenomenon. Maybe that's what happened. On the bright side, nobody's eaten in 600 years. No projectile vomiting to worry about. <laughs> Silver lining. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. It seems like we were already friends with these people before we went to sleep. Message from Jean Carson. Hello, traveler, and welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recover from stasis, know that you're in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build the new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you, it'll be worth it. Founder of the Andromeda Initiative. Names that we should be remembering. Whoa! <laughs> Man, you're a long way from See, those are the little things that are kind of like, whoa, why did that happen? But it's not gonna bother me if it doesn't happen too often. I'm a colony man myself. Eden Prime. Eden Prime? Trouble there, didn't you? Fighting? Yeah, I lost some friends. Figured it was time for a fresh start. Well, welcome to your new life, eh? Eden Prime was in the original trilogy, but I honestly don't remember what the hell happened there. Good to see you, Ryder. <sighs> uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. I want some coffee too. Hello, Cora. You ready? What's wrong? Ooh. Everyone. Whoa! Uh. Cora? But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder could find it. She has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, get on this. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Got it. Keep looking. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. That's broken. Ryder, can you go reset it? Uh, sure. It's reset. We're routing the torrent now. We're in recovery. It's working. Readings are in the green. Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. And you wouldn't have been able to do it without me? Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Someone who just woke up? Hell of a first 10 minutes after waking up. Was close. Okay? Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. <laughs> Not sure your dad will see it that way. Oh, my dad! Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Ah. Automated logs. Departure procedures. Stasis lockdown. <laughs> We've only woken up for like a grand total of five minutes, and the instability that was less than twenty seconds. Look at how much damage it caused. Exactly like me. So I've got the schematics. Looks pretty straightforward. What the heck? 
being light years from home. Worst case, we drift till the next assignment. That's the exact same hairstyle. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. It's my dad. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? It's her call. I'm not... I'm her subordinates, aren't I? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. It does look bad. Giving up? Part of being logical is knowing when to give up, huh? We have 20,000 people with us. We can't just say something based on emotions. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. Well, it looks horrible already. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. <laughs> I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Captain, I still need an update on right, the you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. I notice we've been getting things on the side there, on the left side. I wonder if that's the codex. Pathfinder Team Field Manual. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Golden World Site Verification, 
reconnaissance and mapping of unknown territories, planetary and celestial, scientific analysis and discovery of new phenomenon, potential first contact with extraterrestrials, establishing diplomatic relations with local inhabitants, general support of settlement outposts. Basically, I'm the person setting everything up. Makes sense? First contact protocol. In the event any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. This is a little bit difficult because each alien species has their own customs and culture, right? Maybe a smile in their culture is a sign of aggression. How the heck do we know? Scott's locker. Hang in there, Scott. Oh, okay. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Just casually checking out my family's stuff? That or not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Uh, I thought you would have had a, a solution. Ooh. Ah, that, <laughs> the good luck rock. This is the captain. Good luck rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. He brought the rock with us? 600 years into the future? <laughs> Ryder? Hey Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. It's true. It's true. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship. Her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. N7. The elite operatives that Shepard was also part of. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? Mm, I forgot what the icons mean already. Let's just be honest. Tough to say. Sansers can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah, be ashamed to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys on the ride down. Who is playing that awful music here? Got it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. So one thing that's um, bothering me a little bit right now is that when I'm standing so far from Korra, I can't even hear what she's saying. Oh, have we? Crashing that's... The party, huh? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but it was... it was not good music. <laughs> M3 Predator? Better safe than sorry. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. This is the captain. I still need an update on the oh, So just another boring day at the office, huh? I hadn't noticed. Well, you know, I run into giant space cloud nebulas all the time. It'll be fine. Keeps us on our toes. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Shuttle teams. Dragon. I'd prefer to eat lunch, not be lunch. You're not a real explorer till you've got some scars or bite marks. On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Oh, uh, I'm not too sure if I like how they're doing this zoom in thing. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? Yeah, because in the original in the original trilogy, they had the close up. I've seen my share of the Milky Way, and I've never come across anything like it. 
They had close-ups of everybody talking in the conversation, right? But the way they have it now is just like some casual zoom in. Yes! Jesus. What did you want me to scan, though? I hope the other ARPs made it. The whole initiative's at risk. Felt like you wanted me to scan something. Guess not. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Hmm. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, I brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. He better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So let's go make history. All right, boss. Been waiting 600 years for this. I'm a little bit concerned by how he picked his two kids to be on this team, though. Has nobody accused him of nepotism? Because <laughs> I would. Archive here, this is Shuttle 1. Switching to manual guidance. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. I can't move. All I can do is look around. Get some shop here. Gravity anomaly is detected. Uh -oh. My stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa. Security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. Beginning our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Landing. Ooh. Hang on. Initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go. Flight guidance is scrambled. We're not even sitting down for this. Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. It's all rocks. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Whoa! Look, port side! That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? 
What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Oh! Oh my god! Acceleration increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! Convenient. There's vegetation. out there are floating. Yep. Terra incognita. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? The, where did you even see water? Oh my goodness. Well, for an alien world, it's surprisingly Earth-looking. So that's a good thing. Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out pieces of our shuttle no fixing this must have broken on impact explains why we lost our sound connection oh oh I can scan these things huh well without Sam it's hard to say exactly what this is it's sort of a plant and maybe dead but maybe not 67% probability of plant life possibly carnivorous no analysis though, because Sam is offline. Oh jeez. No relevant data. Damaged in the crash. No good to us now. No supplies? Where's my weapon? I don't even have my weapon out. It won't let me take it out. Quantum entanglement communicator? No activity. Ooh. Oh, and safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. Multicellular fungal life form. I can feel- I can see myself holding the scanning thing out all the time. I hope we don't have to do it all the time. I think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Is it just the... I don't know, maybe it's the unique gravitational pull on the planet. It is a little bit weird why the piece of rock we're standing on is not floating, though. Oh, uh, what the hell is this? Whoa! 
Are you sure that can happen? Welcome to Habitat 7. Whoa! It seems like the electricity might be what's causing ah. the things to float. Oh! Liam! Shit, that hurt. Oh my god! Watch it! Ah. Looks safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell is going on with this place? <sighs> Planet's trying to murder us. Oh my god. Look at the floating rock pieces, though. You can see the little lightning stuff under it. Look. Something flying around in the sky. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. I better not be a goddamn reaper. Fuel cell. Whoa! What the hell? What got me? Electricity? Whoa, 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 whoa. There. We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on. Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. Yeah. How do I get this? Uh, looks like I can't. Nothing's really happening here. Okay. Let's go. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! I think I'd rather fall than get hit Ooh. by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably... <sighs> More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. Coming from inside the mountain. Detecting Crevice. a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. Can we go in here? Doesn't seem so. Something powerful from deep within the earth. Well, I guess it's not the earth anymore. As long as we're not getting hit by lightning, I'm happy. Oops. <laughs> How did my dad find you? I was a cop in crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. Oh. This is going to be close. Okay. Thank God. That's it. We're getting there. Yep, slowly. It's going this way. Oh. I think I see the top. Not good. Haven't seen anybody so far. Am I making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? It's not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait, look. What? Whoa! We gotta help him out. First contact protocol again. No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? They're basically getting ready to shoot us though. Just be ready if this goes south. It usually does. Just say the word and I go hot. They haven't spotted. Liam, stow your weapon. We don't want a misunderstanding. I hope you know what you're doing. Wrong. Shit. They see Fisher. Uh, I, I don't understand. Oh. Well, I sure it. He sees us. We can't understand you. Give us our man, or this gets ugly. Go, shot. What's the other guy doing? Shit, they're beating him. Whoa. Uh. It's probably time for us to step in, huh? Why did they kill him? Okay, I gotta. Screw it! I'm not... Shit! Oh, 
shit! This just got real! Liam was gonna do it anyway. Okay. It's over. Fisher, you okay? Those bastards wanted to kill me. I had to wait in, Ryder. They didn't give us a choice. Yeah. I'm sorry, Fisher. I shouldn't have hesitated. It's just I wasn't sure. None of it made any sense. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. Oh. We still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Oh no. Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Do we know of this species? Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? Uncatalogued life form. I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the way. <laughs> right. Okay. Looks like you knew how to handle a gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. His friend here is the same. Hmm. I think we should try to get as many samples as we can. So these are supplies. Oh, I think I picked something up just by walking over it. Oh! There's a lot going on here. Ooh, whoa! That cloud in the... the building. Okay, the optional objective is to search for shuttle wreckage for supplies. I hope I'm doing that right now. Not really sure if there's anything specific we're looking for. Because I did find some supplies just now, but it didn't really... do anything. There's not much here, though. What? Oh, I stepped over the fire? I think? Here we go. Shield capacitators? Incendiary ammo? So there's my supplies. Time for us to uh, find the others. Hopefully this way is the right way. The lightning strikes are kind of... kind of making me nervous though. Oh! It's gear from one of our shuttles! Good. The atmospheric sensor's still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? <laughs> yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. No radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. Somebody's here. I crouch. Please, I surrender. Kirkland. I said Is I that Kirkland? Oh, fuck! They shot him. You kidding me? Oh, we couldn't. I don't think we could have saved him. That was so fast, and I automatically crouch. Yeah, I automatically crouch when I get near a thing. Can we use the element of surprise or something here? Take them out! Right oh! You. They want to fight? We'll give it 
They killed our men. I got one left to go. Very clearly, though, they don't want to really talk to us. They killed Kirkland. Earlier, you could say that they weren't using their gun, but this time they officer. they killed him. I can't believe we're doing this. Did Kirkland make it? What do you think? What is this structure? Lots of our stuff here. I love how check on Kirkland is considered optional. Oh my god. Next time, if we see one of those guys, we're shooting first. We didn't shoot nearly fast enough this time. SR Receiver 1. Capaci capacitor boosts kinetic coil generators, increasing shot penetration. I can take it or deconstruct it. I'll just take it, I guess. Kirkland. I think he got headshotted. No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. What is that, though? Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. Everything is kind of spooky here. I wonder if uh, they're killing us even though we're trying to surrender because they don't want to be found. That could explain why... Why we thought this planet was habitable to begin with. Whoa! That was freaky. Yeah, so because I'm thinking maybe they might have put a front here to make it to mask what their planet is really about. What's that sound? They keep telling me to scan things, but I have no clue what they want me to scan exactly. The door? I've seen Prothean artifacts in my time, but nothing quite like this. It's at least three or four centuries old. The Ark left 600 years ago, right? Oh. Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures. That tower. Maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way. Well, there goes my theory. 